Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Star Road. I am your host, C641076, and today I think we're gonna actually do some levels in this uh in Starleap Tower, I believe Mr. Toad over here called it. So we'll go see what some of the levels have to offer. Uh I believe our next course shall be in this pipe just here. And, oh, I like the texture on the ground here. It's got some... Oh, it looked like bubbles for a second, but I guess it's more so just circles. So... Oh, a turtle shell. That'd be lovely just to have. So our next course, I believe, is just down this pipe. I wonder if I can take the shell with me. Oh, I can! Deep dive through the coral. Or the corral. I guess it's coral, because we're not farmers here. We're not playing Super Range 64. So now we'll take a deep dive down and go look for our first star deep in the coral. This uh, world has some lovely music, although it is a water level and they are not one of my strong suits. But thankfully I know where to go so it's not going to be too much of a struggle. Although I guess not knowing where to go would be a lot more interesting to watch, but this is somewhat of a tutorial because I haven't, if I haven't already said, all the levels I complete in each episode are listed in the description, so if you didn't already know that, you can just drop down there and take a quick look to see which stars I'm going to complete if you're having trouble finding a specific star. And now there's an arrow telling me to dive down deep, although it might be there for every star, but I don't know. There isn't really a whole much to this bottom portion, I don't think, except for our final star. Or our first star, rather. Not the final star. What am I trying to think of there? Anyway, it's just hiding here in this little bottom corner. Here we go! I wonder if there's a specific reason why Mario does the peace sign every time he clicks a star. Whether he's just one for the... Uh, one for the hippies, one to become peace of mind, experience some tranquility, or what? Well, so what star are we doing? Boat ride. Oh, the boat's back here. Where am I going? I got a bit excited and started running around the place, not knowing where I was going to adventure. Thankfully, this isn't the mud boat from Super Mario Sunshine, because that was a pain in the butt to control, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Which I don't think too many people are going to disagree with me. Now we've got this shy guy here. Oh, he nearly got me out of the boat. Which I guess would be... Oh, I got myself out of the boat! What am I doing? Mario, can we jump back in? Oh! Oh, grabbed it! Okay, that was very interesting. I'm surprised it even allowed me to ledge grab. But here we are, back in our boat. Not having any of that, Mr. Shy Guy. Just a lovely, peaceful boat ride. With some great music. I guess all the music in this game is great. I don't know if there's a level where I dislike the music. And it's not repetitive either. Like the music in Super Mario 64, you hear the Bob on Battlefield theme a fair few times. Even in the second level, Womp's Fortress, you find that music. Alright, so now that we've taken our boat ride, we can just collect our star here. And be done with this level. So I think some of the songs that repeat themselves in Super Mario 64 is the Bob on Battlefield and the slide music. Which have both been remastered in the Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'm not sure if the remix was before that. Uh, we're going to break through the floor. And the remixes definitely do the songs justice. Which is why Nintendo is great at what they do, really. And as of the time of recording this, E3 has just been in past and Nintendo announced the next Smash game and I haven't really played a Smash game properly since the Nintendo 64 one. Like I played a little bit of the GameCube one and like 20 minutes of the Wii version. 
Unfortunately, I didn't grab the Wii U one because... Uh, I don't know why, actually. I really wanted to because it was the first to have GameCube controller support and... I just wanted to get that fancy GameCube adapter. Get some new controllers as well. Although I don't have a GameCube, or even a classic Wii, to plug them in. But USB dongles, I'm not going to complain over. Okay, so now I've got a 50-50 chance here. Oh, thankfully I stuck to the edge. Is that cheating? Sticking to the edge? Because I can just grab on. Not that it would have mattered anyway. If it was 50-50, I just would have burnt my butt once and lost three slices of health, I want to say. Okay, so now we're jumping back in and doing some precision swimming. Hopefully, all those swimming levels is one of my least favourite. I can navigate some tight corners and grab another power star. So we can make our way onto the star road and defeat Bowser. Because he's stealing all the energy. I think that's the plot of this game. It's been so long since I played the start. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm also not a beach, so I don't plan to be sure either. Do you get it? Because it's a, it's a water level, and water's on a beach. And so's the beach shore. Okay, I'm over-explaining my horrible joke. Um, where do I actually have to go for this? It's, is it right here? No. Uh, what? Honestly, don't remember where to go. Do I have to visit that bottom portion again? I think I might. I was too busy talking about whatever I was talking about to notice where the area I needed to go is. But again, we've got this arrow pointing down, so it's obviously the right way. And it is, right in here, which is giving me more bubble gloop swamp feels after last episode. Uh, it's more so like the where the painting's located for Bubble Gloop Swamp. I'm also not sure why I'm comparing this game to Banjo Kazooie a lot. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Bomb. I guess it's kind of giving me those vibes today. Okay, so I think we might be done with this level for now. Uh, split it up into different sections because why not? Let's go see what else this game has to offer. I believe there's another level right in here for us to explore. Oh, grab up Mario. Oh, there you go. Okay, ooh, a desert level. I guess it's going to be pretty uh, dusty looking and was that the Super Mario Bros. 3 son? I think it was. I don't know, I didn't really play too many of the early platformer Mario games other than the first one. Because when I was younger I had like a DVD player that would go in the car and it basically had 150 NES games on like a burnt disc sort of thing and I'm not sure how to describe it it was it was very shady but at the same time it was like ex oh, excuse me exact copies of the game like I didn't notice any difference but it was still very shady looking all the same. Okay, we dodged that son no problem. He was a pretty angry son, I should have offered him some life advice. But now we have to race Cooper the Quick. Do you think he'll be faster? Oh, I'm sorry Mr. Cooper, I'm not reading your text. I'm sure you were going to tell me good luck on our fantastic race we're going to have. Also, I love the little pokey there being all 2D like. Like, for some reason, Skellix decided to change the texture of the Pokey. And I'm not sure why, because they were in the uh, vanilla Super Mario 64. But it's a pleasant surprise all the same. Oh, Mr. Angry Sun's back. I'm sorry, sir. Your eyeballs look like boobs for some reason. Cooper the Quick, where are you going? Oh, jeez, you came in fast. Wow, I can't believe you still beat me after all that training. Maybe I shouldn't have shown off by running around those pillars. Anyway, here's your prize. Yeah, maybe you should have come straight to this flag. And I beat you in a nice even 29 seconds. That's also pretty nice, if I do say so myself. 
And now with that we have a nice 48 stars. And we'll end the episode off with a nice 50. After we climb inside this pyramid and do one other nice little thing. Not sure what it's going to be, but I'm sure we'll find out in due time. I guess I should show off the proper way to get up here rather than just slope kicking. But for those of you who aren't really in the speedrun community, uh, to get up any slope you can just hold in A and spam the B button. So if you've ever wondered how that works, it's not mashing particular buttons or anything, it's just holding A and mashing B. I guess it is somewhat particular buttons if I say it like that. but. It's like it's not anything special, like anyone could pull it off. It's just a matter of knowing how. Hello, Chain Chomp. You've got a reinforced pillar this time, so you're not... Oh, wow. Hello. Uh, sand? Quicksand? Very far sand, maybe? What's interesting about this pyramid is there's no warp zone to uh, welcome you in. You just come on in and it's all part of the one level. Which is pretty neat, because I don't like warping in and out of things. It uh, made dying interesting though, because you didn't respawn outside the level, you started inside the pyramid. Okay, here we are, and now I believe our goal is to push this block around. Uh, hopefully I can get on that backside there, with a bit of sneaking. Oh, you know, I can just jump straight into the very quicksand again. That'll also work. In the angry sun's favour. Okay, I pushed the block forward a little bit this time, so hopefully that same issue doesn't happen. I also have more room to sneak around the side now, so that's pretty neat. And handy, if I do say so myself. Oh, hello Mr. Firebar. I guess I've got to take this bit nice and slow now though, because there's quicksand on the other side of this place too, so... Right, I should be able to make this jump if I line it up right. Well, Mario, that's not how you jump. I'm sorry to say. There you go. Easily collected after a couple of tries. Star number 49. I did promise a 50 star send off. Which wouldn't even be halfway to this game. I believe it's 65 stars is now halfway. Oh, the eight red coins. I guess that also requires a hundred coins. But luckily for me, I've already broken the star order in this let's play, so why don't we do it once more? Because, oh, I found very quicksand. That's why we should break the star order. And again, I fell for the same tricks and suffered the same fate. Although this fate's worse because now I'm in purgatory. Have we seen Purgatory this Let's Play yet? I can't recall if we have. But that's the that's the Purgatory once you game over. Okay, let's try jumping to the intended platform this time. That seemed to work a lot better. I'm also not sure if I've mentioned it yet. Although we are a fair few episodes in now, so... Over the span of a couple of years, I might add... Oh, that was very close to going in the very quicksand. But if I have yet to mention it for whatever reason, uh, I'm not using safe states for this playthrough because one, I feel like a man and want to do everything the manly way, and two, I feel like safe states were never the intended way for Mario 64, so regardless of how hard it may seem, oh, I'm bumping the disc there, I apologise. Uh, no matter how hard it may seem, everything should be possible. I've also, am again, not playing this blind, so I know exactly how to do most things. It's just whether or not I have the skills required to pull it all off. Also, with that is star number 5-0, so I think I might call this an episode here. Oh, keep going. Once you've collected 65 power stars, you'll have enough power to activate the star road. Oh, okay, so he didn't suck the energy from the star road. It's just not active. Oh, maybe he did put in the power stars. Yeah, I guess that makes more sense. But anyway, what was I saying? 
I'm a man, so I'm not going to use save states. Anyway, I've now collected my 50 stars, so I'm going to call an episode here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Laters!